Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash and all the other DC TV shows. So today we're going to be talking about the scheduling of all the shows because there's been a lot of articles popping up read the scheduling of these different episodes that are going to be coming up because some of them are being delayed, some of them are being pushed back, some of them have been postponed kind of indefinitely for a while. And I've mentioned this in the back of a few videos, but I thought I would like make one whole video to talk about it because... There is a lot of stuff happening with all our shows rather than just talking about say Supergirl or The Flash. We need to talk about like Batwoman and Legends of Tomorrow a bit as well. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So currently on the CW right now, the DC TV shows that we have is Supergirl, Batwoman, The Flash and Legends of Tomorrow. Obviously Arrow ended recently. And then you've got some upcoming shows like Superman and Lois that we kind of don't know what's going to be happening with it due to, you know, all the delays and stuff in regards to filming, the behind the scenes stuff. But also you've got like the actual scheduling of the shows like we're going to be talking about because Supergirl, Batwoman, The Flash and Legends of Tomorrow all have episodes that have been temporarily pulled from the CW schedule. Essentially meaning that this week there's going to be no new episodes of DCTV from any of the shows because all of them have been indefinitely pulled and we don't know the actual release dates. I believe The Flash was supposed to be April 9th and maybe they've moved it to a week after I think I saw something like that online and Legends is in sort of a very similar situation and we don't know about Supergirl. I'm not sure about Batwoman right now but Supergirl doesn't have a release date for its next episode I'm presuming two to three weeks is probably what we're gonna get and you know it's all as a consequence of what's been happening behind the scenes and this news comes less than two weeks later after sort of word broke of widespread production suspensions and like all of DC TV basically shutting down like most of the films and television that are currently shooting right now so this comes from Den of Geek this is what they said so go check them out we can only assume that it's because of post-production slowdown as the entire industry continues to practice social distancing and preemptive self-isolation. So essentially meaning, and I didn't think of this before, like one of the main reasons could be, you know, the editing or like the visual effects work is not being properly done because they need a whole team of people and maybe they can't come in and like at home maybe their computers like are definitely not strong enough to hold all this data and stuff like that when editing the episodes or whatever their jobs are. So that could be one reason, but the other reason and this reason sort of popped into my head more so than the other one, although the other one is very, very much so like a reality and I think, you know, because you do need big post-production teams, maybe this is the case and maybe that's why they're being delayed because they have filmed these episodes and everything like that. But the reason why I was thinking was maybe it's just to space out the season because episodes are being halted and filming is being stopped as there is basically no guarantee they'll finish the rest of the season so basically it's going to give them a bit more time to reach that point where they can film again and maybe with these delays the seasons won't be able to finish and this is due to scheduling probably going to be overlapping with the start of the new season and that would only be the reason why like they couldn't finish the final episodes and I think with, you know, the spacing out of the episodes, we could reach a point where we can film again. But basically, they're supposed to film again around June time, like late June, heading into July is when, like, Batwoman and The Flash is definitely going to be scheduled to start filming for the next season. But at this point, who knows, like, it could be late June and maybe they can't even film again for this season. So will they just cut off the season and you know that's definitely a risk as of right now because we don't know what is happening and it seems like it could be a possibility that we don't get those final few episodes that they had to stop and halt due to production being shut down on all the CW shows. So that's a reality that maybe we have to consider as of right now and let me know how possible do you think is going to be to actually finish the season for like The Flash and Batwoman because you know, I think they were about episode 20, maybe 19, and they were supposed to have about 22 episodes, well definitely The Flash, and so, you know, with the potential of them not being able to finish it, how are they going to actually make an ending that works and sort of leads into next season and wraps up this season if they definitely 
you know, cannot get to those final few episodes which were planned to basically end the season like as normal. So those are questions that we're going to have to wait and see as to what the real answers are. Anyway, so overall, let's talk about the shows. So Batwoman had episodes to finish and therefore it's in danger of not being able to have those episodes to finish by the time of, you know, filming for the next season or potentially scheduling them in for, you know, show on TV because, you know, it may even like run and sort of overlap into like late September, like September time or like October, November, who knows, like we don't know how long this is going to affect the shows, but there is potential for overlap, which is not going to be a very good thing. And potentially like our CW shows, our DC TV shows could maybe actually run basically out of January rather than October, unlike they normally do. So starting at the mid-season instead of, you know, the normal start in October, like second week or something like that is what they normally do. So this would be a big change and that means they would have to sort of run into the summer for these shows that are longer. And would that affect the next seasons? Like if they did start the mid-season normally it's not like a full 22 episode sort of run because then you would have to probably run into like the fall or like the autumn and that would definitely affect the scheduling for the next year so you have to think about all of that and the way that they're going to sort of be thinking about this because you know they have to consider the next season after that and then the next season after that and the way they're going to schedule all of that and all the different shows not just like one singular show and anyway so overall again you've got the flash which had episodes to finish. I think it had about two to three episodes to finish. I know they were cut like halfway through an episode, so obviously that episode could be salvageable with a few extra filming days here and there. But whether, you know, they can actually put together those episodes properly due to like the massive break and like, you know, you have to consider continuity and stuff like that in the end. So we'll have to wait and see as in regards to The Flash. Unsure about Legends as of right now because I don't know if they actually finished the season or not. They did start filming in the summer and they have smaller episode counts so I'm guessing they probably finished it already so I wouldn't be so worried about Legends but I think it may be down to some of the post-production stuff as to why Legends is being delayed and I'm guessing that sort of spills over into the other shows like Batwoman and The Flash and Supergirl as well but it seems like that is probably the case for Legends and Supergirl has basically finished when they were told to stop production. So they were on the finale episode, which I believe is episode 20. And what happened was, I think maybe they missed a few scenes or something like that. But they were very, very close. So they can definitely salvage an ending and a neat end to the season. And so just in regards to the individual shows, because I've got this sort of bullet pointed like this, I know I just sort of briefly touched upon it, but Batwoman is definitely in danger of overlapping with their scheduled filming for next season because the filming would normally start around June to July. And so I just wanted to clarify that. And The Flash is definitely in danger of overlapping with the scheduled filming for next season as well. And, you know, I think The Flash has maybe a bit longer episode count than Batwoman so maybe more of a danger that they can't actually finish the end of the season and finishing the arcs of the villain and you know of all our normal characters and as previously mentioned Supergirl is probably in the most danger as of right now probably not going to start until January of next year because basically Supergirl yeah they finished filming but they had to change their filming schedule for next season due to what is happening with Melissa right now and basically she would not be able to film past June until about November and then they would start again in November. They planned to originally film in April to about sort of late June and then they would start again in November and continue on from there with about five episodes in the can as of right then. But you know that is not the case so it's basically in danger of starting in November Therefore, they're probably not going to air the episodes until January, until the mid-season. So, yeah, Supergirl is definitely going to be the most affected by all of this that's happening. But anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and hopefully it was informative. But anyway, guys, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.
icy road.